You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping SmackDown Live from January 30th. Yeah, a SmackDown Live with not a huge amount of complaints. It's true. It's uh, It's been a while. Watching the show, I think I looked down at the clock and saw it was 9.30 and said, holy crap, it's yeah. 9.30 already. Yeah. I can't really do that because I watch it on my computer, so it always tells me what time it is, but I know what you mean. <laughs> Usually when it goes full screen, doesn't it? Uh... Well, I don't watch it full screen because i got to take notes. Um... Yeah, I switch back and forth between browsers. Oh, so you don't have another computer while you're watching the computer? No. <laughs> Fine. What's going on on your TV? Oh, yeah, you have, I don't, don't have, have cable. cable. That's right. I watch it on the, the computer. All right, then. Also, when I do that, you don't see the picture-in-picture. Picture. That's why I didn't know when they were. That makes Cause I, more I sense. Because I figured it out eventually. Because it, it does the like the close-in where it says SmackDown Live. Uh-huh. Like, you know how like the screen shrinks, mm-hmm. kind of, and yeah, then yeah. it moves into the corner? It does the SmackDown Live cut-in thing, mm-hmm. but then it just cuts to the regular commercial. commercial. Huh. It doesn't have the picture-in-picture. Picture, Different. I don't understand why. All right, well, really all these people don't care about uh, us talking about well, what if what if they have the same experience and now they know why? Well, I don't know why still, but they, at least they know they're not alone. Okay. <laughs> anyway. And not missing much. So uh, we're going to open the show. We got uh, Shinsuke comes out and uh, names the people who he need in the face in order to win the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Sami Zayn, knee to the face. Mm-hmm. John Cena, knee to the face. Roman Reigns, knee to the face. Granted, you said it a little clearer than he did, but... Yes. <laughs> well, English is my first language. That's true. Um, and then he says that at WrestleMania, he'll be doing the same to AJ Styles, and mm-hmm. he's going to win the uh, <coughs> WWE Championship. Well, and then he points he... to the side. Yes. Um, at that point, Owens and Sami Zayn come out. Yeah. But, all right, before we get into that, it, it was long enough where it wasn't too stretching on his English, you know? Mm. Like, they were able to get to the point. It wasn't... He wasn't being interviewed and asked oh, yeah, numerous no, it, questions. It was great. No, yeah, uh, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was I, a good opening yeah, segment. Exactly. A good I opening to, spot. I have to give it to WWE usually. I cringe when well, they have a non-English speaking yeah. superstar out there and then go, so what do you think about this? What do you think about mm-hmm. that? He was given the opportunity to speak for himself. Yes. So, uh, But yeah, then uh, Owens and Zayn come out. Um, for some reason, they decide to complain about their title match, mm-hmm. even though it has nothing to do well, with Well, no, 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 because they said you're not going to be facing AJ. You're uh, going to be facing one of us because we're getting that rematch because yeah. we never got, we never lost that they match. Pinned, he pinned the wrong guy. Right. Yes. Um, and then that's when Shinsuke called them losers. Yes. Yeah. You guys aren't winners. You're all losers. Um, and then AJ comes out mm-hmm. um, and he says he's very excited about the dream match between him and Shinsuke at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Um, and, th- <clears throat> and at that point he says that we will have, um, that dream match at WrestleMania, but how about tonight? We have a dream team. Yes. And then he says that, how about the two of us face you two pointing to Kevin mm-hmm. Owens and Sami Zayn. Right. And at this point, Owens and Zayn just kind of look at him, leave the ring mm-hmm. and then they grab the mic and get up back on the, or they still have the mic in their hand. Yeah. They get up on the apron and they say, nope. Yep. <laughs> and then that's when they both get punched in the face. Yeah, it was. An odd stretch of time between when yeah. they said that and when they got hit. Because mm-hmm. I was in the middle of typing, so I couldn't see what was going on oh, on the okay. screen. Yeah. And then I go back and, and then they're they... gone. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that was, that was weird. Yep. But whatever. And then that was that. Yep. Well, then we go backstage and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are talking with uh, Daniel Bryan, mm-hmm. right? And they're complaining, of course, about the injustice. Mm-hmm. And Daniel Bryan says, "Well, I understand your complaints. It's the, ultimately the referee's decision, which unfortunately doesn't line up with what happened what two weeks ago. Well, with uh... with the second referee coming out and oh yeah 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 with the whole Benjamin mm-hmm. Gable and the Usos thing. Yeah, and he says, "Don't worry though. You guys will get your shot again." Uh, next week, you will face each other. Well, you, it'll be Daniel... Uh, it would be Sami Zayn versus, versus Kevin Owens. Well, he went versus... Yeah, and Kev, you can see Kevin's face going, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah. So the really. two of them will face off against each other to determine who will face AJ Styles at, I guess, at Fastlane? Yeah, Fastlane, yeah. 
Um, the fast lane to WrestleMania, right, Matt? Mm-hmm. It's true. Stupid. It's true. I'm I'm not. I just think it's stupid. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so that match will be happening yep. next week. Yeah. Um. So after that, we have the fatal four way for the number one contendership to the U.S. title. Mm-hmm. I guess this was announced what on social media? I think. I believe. Well, I told so. you about it. Yeah, you so. told me about it. Yeah. So. Um, Bobby Roode was on commentary. Yep. Um, oh, the match was Rusev against Kofi Kingston, against Jinder Mahal, against Zack Ryder, mm-hmm. which is strange. Yeah, and everybody but uh, Kofi was in the ring by the time we came back from commercial. Yes. And we saw the New Day coming down the uh, entrance ramp. So mm-hmm. that was kind of a theme for the night is they didn't Do waste entrances. time with entrances, which is amazing how much you actually fit into a show without with the entrances cut. It's true. The only ones who got entrances besides them, well, besides uh, Owens and Shinsuke and AJ at yeah. the beginning. No, oh, yeah, yeah. And they at didn't the get them at the end, and yeah. Ty and Corbin got them. Yes. And um, and so the Bludgeon Brothers. Right. That's but true. that was more of an interruption than a, an entrance. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and the Usos did. Yeah. All right, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's let's stop this, because we're just going to keep on Keep going and remembering, remembering things, yeah. Um, but yeah, it was the four of them. Mm-hmm. Bob Root on commentary, like I said. Um, bodies and pancakes flying everywhere. Oh yeah. Uh, Big E was having a field day, throwing just pancakes at Corey Graves. pancakes out of his Roode. tights. He was just chucking at them and mm-hmm. just walk over randomly, start throwing more of them. Yeah. Um, I think it was a spot where, I guess it was Kofi went flying at the announce table. Probably. <laughs> that would make the most sense. Yeah. Um, but it was a pretty good match. Mm-hmm. It was. A lot going on. Right, yeah, because there was bodies on the outside of the ring, and I think Kofi had jumped over on top of him, and then Rusev was going to go jump over the rope, mm-hmm. and he went off the ropes, and then the lone Singh brother pulled his foot. Aiden English came over. So and what are then you doing? Big E and Xavier started to come over, and Aiden English pushed the Singh brother into the New Day. They spilled their pancakes, and that's when business was about to pick up. Oh, yeah, that was right, because Big E <clears throat> and Xavier Woods were both very, very cross about mm-hmm. the pancakes falling on the floor. And at this point, the referee was like, all right, I'm done with this nonsense. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. It sends them all to the back. Um, and action, you know, I think Jinder was standing tall at this point, and then he got knocked out of the ring, mm-hmm. and then uh, Rusev was going to put... Kofi and uh, yeah, who else was in? Uh, Zach, Zach Ryder, Ryder into the stackalade. Yes, and, but it uh, was ultimately unsuccessful. But mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, Jinder came in and kicked him, right? Yeah, I think that's yeah, just about when he was mm-hmm. putting him in. Yeah, and then um, Rusev gains control a little later on mm-hmm. and ends up putting uh, <clears throat> Kofi Kofi into <clears throat> the accolade and wins. Yep. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of back and forth. A lot of uh, there was a couple. of Points in time where we feared that Jinder might actually go over. He almost hit. He definitely had a strong showing. Yeah, he almost hit Rusev with a Coloss, but Rusev was able to evade it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Rusev got hit with a Broski boot, and then Jinder threw Ryder out of the ring, and mm-hmm. then that's when I think he went for the Coloss on Rusev, but that's when Moved he, it, yeah. yeah. Um, but ultimately, um, Rusev went over, which yep. was what we were hoping, hoping for. And it was a match that meant something. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, this was, I think the title match is next week. Right? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. what they said. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like, or it's most likely going to be Bobby Roode retaining yeah. the match uh, or the title. They need to do a uh, double turn. Have Bobby Roode be heel and yep. Rusev be face. Yeah. That's, that would make sense. It's true. Um, and you could very. But I don't know if that's going to keep with the mixed match challenge. I guess it really didn't It doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. It's, it's completely non canon. Yeah. So. Because the, all they do is reference it. Right. They don't yeah, actually. There's no no reason for Bobby to be a face. It's true. He's, he's better than everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, it should doesn't... be a good guy. Yeah. Because uh, it worked so well in NXT. It most certainly did. <clears throat> and now he's All right, Bobby. Boring. You're allowed to come up to the main roster, but you have to be a good guy. That's that's our one condition. Okay, so, boss. So dumb. All right. So uh, up next, uh, mm-hmm. we have another one of those phone promos. Yeah. But it was the Usos with the addition of words now, right? Uh, SmackDown was the ones that added yeah. the words to it. So they, I, I can't remember. I don't remember the words with this one actually, because I, I know they were talking about. Um, they're saying they're coming up next. Mm-hmm. That was like the, but they were talking about how. Um, they probably said something about the 
division being on lockdown, so we're going to the ring or something yeah. like that. So, but it was a it was a cool promo because it was like right outside the entrance way. Yeah, and then it like kind of shone a light. Yeah, like they and were them going, going toward the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it was so fine. it was good. Um, cuts the commercial, comes mm-hmm. back. We're up. To, we have the fashion files. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, this one was actually on SmackDown. Yeah, in its entirety. Mm-hmm. Um, Even though I, I mean, it was. It wasn't a particularly it, yeah. interesting one. No, but, but it did build to something, so yeah. we actually got something from the fashion it's true. files. So um, they have a board, and it says the fashion police's top ten, mm-hmm. and it's just pictures of them or wearing different yes. outfits. Uh, I think the uh, number ten was the Ascension, though, drawn as stick figures. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, that's so funny. Yeah. So uh, apparently they had been asking Twitter fans, questions, right? Yeah, they had yeah. fans asking Twitter questions, and the Ascension was answering them for them. Mm-hmm. And I think <laughs> the one question to uh, Breeze, uh, Breeze was what kind of conditioner you use, yes. right? And like, then, that's a good question. Yeah. And then the one who's fan dang goes, what do you think of Victor of the Ascension? He's like, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then was it Benjamin Gable come in and mm-hmm. what did they say to him? Well, they said that uh, do you like? I got a question for you. Do you think you could beat oh, us? Right, that's right. And the answer is no. no. <laughs> oh well, because Fandango had answered and said yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and that's when they would they throw the table with the computers on the ground. I think so. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, after that, mm-hmm. the Usos come out to the ring. Um, they do their. <laughs> uh whole division on lockdown thing yeah but this time they have a uh jail cell door i guess it was it was like a graphic slamming shut yeah said they, lockdown yeah on a tag team it, it was different yeah i didn't really it didn't i didn't mind it um it seems and i could be wrong oh. that what they're going for is a little bit more of interaction with the with like what's going oh. what what's being said mm-hmm. and they're like like with the words and the promos. Right, right. So I feel like maybe there's something that they're trying well, to I think incorporate. Well, I think it kind of translates a little better. Videos well, with words on it. Yeah. Well, it's it's easier to follow, I guess, maybe. That's uh, true, too. I don't know. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see stuff more mm-hmm. like this in the future. Yeah. <laughs> but they kind of went on and said that, you know, they face issues just like every other person. They would just kind of said, what, bills, first of the month, or uh, rent, first of the month, mm-hmm. and then... Um, grades got to get an A or something like that. Yeah. And then, you know, they said, but we, we, we both, fa- we face all these issues together as a tag team. And then, uh, who was it? Jimmy that said, I think we may not be the best or we may not be the best tag team. And, uh, Jay was like, no, we are. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then they say that they beat everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, and at that point the Bludgeon Brothers come out. Yep. Uh, cause they have not faced them right. because they have not faced anybody really. But this was just leading up to a Bludgeon Brothers squash match. They kind of just had a little interaction as the Usos were leaving the ring and the Bludgeon Brothers were coming out. Didn't even look at each other. Well, I think the Usos looked at them, but Probably. that was about it. Yeah. So it was just kind of like it was a like, okay. preview of things to come. Yeah, like they're there, mm-hmm. and now they, they're they aware. I forgot about these guys. Yep. So yeah. So up next... We have Daniel Bryan's announcement of the SmackDown Top 10. You mean we're not going to talk about the Bludgeon Brothers squash match? No. Okay. It's not really that important. <laughs> yeah, the Bludgeon Brothers beat up two jobbers. Mm-hmm. So much fun. Um, so Daniel Bryan talks about the SmackDown Top 10. Yeah, this... Wait, oh, before, before we get... This right. was terrible. Are you talking about the, his presentation? This was terrible. It's not even that. It was just... He was looking at his phone like this, and then his lines were probably right above him, what he was supposed to read. It just looked like he was reading exactly what was in front of him that's because that's what he was doing i know but that's not the way it should be telegraphed to television it's true um i guess they made this video earlier in the day yeah i I, I think this was on like uh facebook Facebook or something twitter or something like that i heard murmurs of it but i even when he was talking about it i wasn't paying attention just because i was very confused at what was going on (laughs) anyway uh, the idea is that the superstars themselves are going to vote on the top 10 each week of who they felt, I think, performed the best. Do we even have top 10? Uh... No, we don't. <laughs> um, I think it was like the best performance and the like best backstage or um, like the locker room and stuff like that. That's weird. And he said the most important part is that Shane and himself are not a part of it and they're not voting. It's all the superstars. I guess to 
kind of like suggest that okay i know that the last few months of smackdown has been very sheen and daniel uh, bryan oriented yeah. yeah so maybe we're gonna back off on that hopefully mm-hmm. that's what they were doing um and yeah that was that was it i guess they're gonna start that next week yeah or start announcing things next week i, I guess i have no idea yeah <laughs> this could lead to nothing and next week there'll be no no uh well, that's mention that's of it possible. at all it's possible uh, so we have Ty Dillinger backstage with uh, Shane McMahon, right? And yeah. he's kind of talking about how he never officially made it into the Rumble. Yeah. And Shane obviously understood his frustrations. because yeah, he didn't want his performance to be held against him because right. he got jumped. Mm-hmm. And Baron walks in and goes, no one cares about you. <laughs> it's all about me. Yep. And then uh, there's a Ty... Oh, no, and, no, and, yeah, no, no, Cor- no, Corbin Cor- was complaining about, he's like, why does Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn keep getting title shots? <laughs> and uh, what did Ty say? Oh, you didn't do any or any better in the Rumble, right? Yeah. Because he got thrown out right away. Mm-hmm. And then... And then um, Corbin and, says, you didn't even come get, right, enter get, the Rumble. Yeah. And then... You no, know, he said, you were missing from the Rumble. Oh, okay. and, he, and then that's when Ty said, oh, you know what's missing? Your money in the bank briefcase. And <laughs> <laughs> Something along those yeah, lines. And then Corbin kind of storms yeah, off. Yeah, and then Shane goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ke- ke- don't talk about the briefcase. It's a little sour point. And then <laughs> Ty's like, that's kind of why I said it. Yeah. Uh, Shane but, makes a match between the two of them for mm-hmm. later on in the night. Yeah. But that, that was really it backstage. Um. Well. With, the, with an actual third party there. Yeah, it's true. Everything else was two people, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, what happened next? Oh, this was this was something. No, this wasn't terrible. Uh, Charlotte was out there with Renee, and uh, she said that while she had a front row seat for the Women's Rumble, she wished that she could have partaken in it. Mm-hmm. Um, but, or partook, right? Yes. I think that's the word. Um, but, you know, the question is, obviously, who's going to face her at Mania? Mm-hmm. And then she was... What did she go on about? She, she was talking about something. She was talking a lot. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, oh, yeah, because she men- made mention about the moment where Ronda Rousey came out and broke the internet and all yeah. this other stuff. And then Ruby Riot came out, which it just, at that single point, I was like, why did they bring these three up? To fill out the roster. I realized that, but it just felt like, I don't know, Ruby was one of the less established people on NXT sure. to lead a stable. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Yeah. And then, you know, yeah, she comes out and says that uh, Charlotte's basically a cheap imitation of her father. She's just like, you're just like your father with such a big ego, which was, it didn't make sense that it was supposed to be an insult. Yeah, but but it wasn't really. It was not, no. Um, So they they come into the ring with Mm. Charlotte, and then Ruby starts attacking, and then they all kind of jump her, but Charlotte knocks them off. And then she, what, throws the belt on the ground, throws her jacket. I don't know if it landed in the audience, but it might have just landed down below. Probably. And then the three of them come back and start beating her down. Mm-hmm. And so, they're successful. Mm-hmm. They hit, him, hit her with all of their finishers. Yeah, I think so. Um, so Charlotte's laying in the ring at this point, and all of a sudden you see the Riot Squad exiting up the ramp, mm-hmm. and Carmelo's music hits. Yes. She comes out with a referee, and... What looked to be cash in time. She attempted to cash in the yes. money in the bank. So she gets in the ring with the ref while Charlotte's down, and she kind of kicks her a couple times to, to make sure, sure that she's down and out. And so the referee's got the briefcase, and he's leaning over to, uh, what the hell's his Tony name? Tony Chimmel, I think. No. No, that's, that's the other guy. <laughs> uh, oh, I have no idea. Oh, what the I have no name? idea what that guy's name is. Oh, come on. No, I have no idea. Yeah, the, the one fall guy that's no longer allowed to say it. Crap. Yeah, but yeah. it's not the same guy as NXT, though. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it's like that is. not. Okay. Um, so anyway, so the ref's okay. talking to him, and at this point, Charlotte's Good. getting up, pushes Carmella. Carmella hits the referee. Referee goes outside the ring, and uh, Carmella's screaming at the ref to get up. <laughs> and, well, what are you doing? Yeah. And at this point, she kind of looks as Charlotte's completely regained her composure, and she grabs her briefcase and leaves. Mm-hmm. So it was it was pretty funny. It wasn't terrible, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was it was good. I was honestly hoping that um, it happened. Yeah, that she was actually able to successfully cash in. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna find it. 
Why why did this stuff come up? I don't know. That's not it. There's no guys here. No. There's All a lot right. of there's a lot of Eden. Alright, whatever. We'll, we'll figure is. this out afterwards. Yeah. Oh no, I'm figuring it out now. You All right, you fine. Continue. I'll continue. I'm half paying attention now. <clears throat> All right, so up next we have a backstage segment with uh, AJ and Shinsuke. Uh, what did AJ want to know what Shinsuke's strategy was? No, right? he said, "What's the game plan?" Oh, what's the game plan? It's not him. It's this Greg. Is the it's Greg something. Hamilton. That's his name. This guy. No, it wasn't. It's not Mike Rome. But that's the guy at, on NXT who does the one fall thing. Maybe you're right. No, I am. No, right. no, 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 you're not. I am. No, you're not. Yes, he right, is. It doesn't that matter. That was the announcer okay. when we went All to right. the NXT house show. Sure. It was. Okay, that's fine. If you say so. It was. All right, very good. All right. But I'm pretty sure it's Greg Hamilton. That's his, uh, That's the That's the SmackDown guy's name. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he did the one fall thing, but maybe not. He also does it, but the guy who started it in NXT was the... All right. Whatever. But that's not who we were talking about. <sighs> So anyway, Shinsuke and AJ are backstage talking about their strategy, mm -hmm. and Shinsuke just says, I'm going to beat you at Mania multiple times. Yeah. So AJ's like, all right, seriously, what's what's the plan here? And then I think he, uh, Shinsuke said, you just follow my lead. So Yep. It was good. Mm -hmm. Enjoyable stuff. Yeah, Shinsuke was very confident about his future mm -hmm. matches and the one in, that was happening tonight. So. Yep. Uh, backstage, we have Renee Young uh, interviewing Carmella, mm -hmm. saying, uh, it looks like that didn't go exactly as you planned. Mm -hmm. And Carmella's like, no, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> I was just I was just testing it out. Seeing, seeing what it was going to be like mm -hmm. when it actually happened. So. so when do you think she will cash in? Um, well. Because there's, there's probably like. What a five percent chance that she's actually a champion going into Mania? No, I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. I, it's, it might be like right, after. right afterwards. Yeah, I don't think it would be at the show. Well, Money in the Bank's what the the pay per view after WrestleMania? No, Money oh, no, no, like they payback. Yeah, payback was yeah. last year. Um, so, but it's, it's a dual brand, so I don't know if. Yeah, I think it's still in June. Because wasn't there a weird? Because didn't Money in the Bank do one month and then payback was the other? No, Money in the Bank was in June. Yeah, it was. It was but payback. They had, had a, no, it was payback and there was backlash. Oh, they had extreme rules and and extreme June, rules right? and then that's why. The okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if that was there one was of their weird there was months. like three months in between mm -hmm. or two two and a half months between okay. Money in the Bank and Mania. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, April, beginning of April is Mania, and then midway through June is when uh, Money in the Bank. Actually, it might have been in July. Was it in July? No, no, no. It was June. June. Okay. Great Balls of Fire was in July. But that was also the and Raw. Yeah. And Battleground, Battleground was in July. It. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, she has time. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine it will probably be after Mania. It's that possible. Makes the most sense. Unless they come up with a solution for what uh, Rousey's yeah, so, doing and yeah. it have her face Charlotte for not the title. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah. I guess that's that would be the true. only thing. Yeah, I just don't see Carmel with the championship at WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. Well, well, that would be the, okay, we're not actually going to defend this mm -hmm. at WrestleMania kind of thing. It's true. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, after mm -hmm. that, we have Ty, Ty versus Corbin. Yep. And apparently the big part of this match was a sign in the crowd that said, Baron Corbin eats Tide Pods. So we got a he eats Tide Pod chant throughout the match. Of course. Yeah. But no surprise here. Corbin goes over with the end of days. Yeah. Um, not Poor a terrible tie. match. Poor Ty. But hey, we got both got entrances. It's true. <laughs> and then we have, uh, who was it, Bobby Roode doing his promo? Well, it was Rusev first. Was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, because he called him Bob Roode. <laughs> uh, and then what, Aiden English popped up, right? Well, yeah, he's, he's like, Aiden! And then he just appears from behind him. Mm-hmm. And then mm -hmm. they start, I think he starts singing about Rusev, Rusev Day. Day. Yeah, and, and Rusev basically says, I'm going to beat you next week. Yeah. And then Rude comes <clears> or <throat> does his, he's standing next to a calendar, and it says, next Tuesday is Rusev Day. He circles it, and he says, J next Tuesday might be Rusev Day, but the whole week is glorious. glorious. Yes. And then he writes, he writes out glorious out. Yep. on the on the calendar, mm -hmm. which is funny because Rusev Day is every day. So it's I don't true. Know what he's talking about. 
He missed the ball on that one. Yeah, apparently. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then we uh, have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn in the locker room. Yeah. This was awkward. Yeah, because this was basically Kevin and Sami taking shots at each other. Yeah, because... Uh, for their match next week. Because mm-hmm. I think... Uh, How the other person's going to fail, right? Yeah, because Sami said that Kevin failed at the Royal Rumble yep. in their uh, title match. Yeah, and then Kevin and then, said that Sami failed in the Rumble. Yes. And then... So they said, be careful not to fail tonight mm-hmm. or next week. Right. So. Yeah, so that was kind of the thing going into the match. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that was that. Yeah. Up next? Yeah, We well, we go to commercial, and then we come back, and uh, the fashion police and Benjamin and Gable are in the ring. Yes. And uh, we have a little thrown together quick match here. It wasn't really thrown together. Well, because... yeah, it was. It was known. Yeah, about. but um, yeah, you never know with SmackDown. That's true. Because Daniel Bryan did say that AJ Styles can't make matches, so why can Benjamin and Gable? Well, actually, it's been established that uh, Fashion Police have no authority That's to make true. matches. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, but yeah, this was pretty short. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing going uh, on here. Obviously, Benjamin and Gable go mm-hmm. over. Um, and you know, it was just, very, very cut and dry here. Yeah, just weird. They have them lose to the champs, but I guess they're gonna keep trying to keep them going strong. strong. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I, I know, but I mean, you kind of you don't have much of the tag team division left with Rusev and Aiden doing their own thing, the New Day kind of doing their own thing. So yeah, that's why well, the Bludgeon Brothers are probably gonna. The New Day is kind of done with. The tag team. They're just kind of... Somebody's wrestling a single match, and yeah. Big E's got pancakes. pancakes. Yeah, it's true. Maybe Big E's hurt. Now he's in the Rumble. Yeah. I was going to say, maybe he could... Because he, he hasn't really wrestled much lately. No. Besides the Mixed Match Challenge. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, up next, we have our main event. Yes. AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Yeah. The uh, match was not the main focus here. Oh, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at one point, Sami Zayn gets knocked out of the ring when mm-hmm. he wasn't even supposed to be in the ring. Um, and then Kevin Owens starts yelling at him. He's like, what are you doing? Get in the corner. You're supposed to be there so I can tag out. And, uh, Sammy's kind of just looking at him and then Owens just continues to scream at him and Sammy's just kind of sitting there. And I guess at some point he's had enough and then yep. he w- starts walking up the ramp and Kevin Owens is like, where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Yeah. So basically, uh, Sammy gets to the top of the ramp, and he kind of just sits there for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, Owens is kind of forced to be in a handicap match for a while. Um, I think AJ went for a, t- a pin. Yeah. Uh, Sammy came just in. Just randomly, you see Sammy in the ring and breaks up the pin. Yeah. I mean, besides, obviously, the conflict going on between the two of them, mm-hmm. Sammy Zayn was scheduled to wrestle in the Mixed Match Challenge afterwards. So. Yeah, so it kind of made sense yeah. that he wasn't having a full match. match. Yeah. Um, Since and he was then, just going to uh, receive an ass-beating from Braun. It's true. <laughs> um, let's see. Right, oh, yeah, 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 the one point where AJ shoved Owen, Kevin Owens into Sammy Zayn, and Zayn, oh, Zayn yeah, was just like, was I'm outside. done. Yeah. And then leaves. Owens gets hit with the Kinshasa. And that's the match. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, obviously, Zane had left. He's already in the back. Mm-hmm. Renee Young comes up to him and asks if this is the end of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's friendship. He says, nope. This isn't nope. about friendship. This is about opportunity. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm tired of Kevin Owens getting all the opportunities. I'm going to take it for myself. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to win this match next week. And then I'm going to go on to win the WWE Championship as well. Yeah. So. But. It, it was good to see that from Sami Zayn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and it was nice that it was something a little different. It wasn't the same crap that we've been getting constantly. Yeah. But if the big payoff from all this nonsense is just the split of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, that would kind of be sad. Yeah, well, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No, but like I said, they've kind of been keeping Shane and Daniel Bryan apart, mm-hmm. not having conflict. They didn't have any last week either, did they? Mm, I don't think no. so. So, But uh, I don't know. Because it would be nice if they have their match and then they kind of just get back together. Yeah. Because the two of them working together is nice, and I don't I don't think the split ha- should happen just yet. Just yet? No. no, no. So, but yeah. Otherwise, Which is funny was, when you uh, think about it. It has been going on for a while, them being together. Um, it was, what, 
October was Hell in a Cell? Yeah, it's true, actually. Now that yeah. you think about it, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. it's just crazy how... It doesn't feel time, like No, it. not at all, because they haven't really done anything. Yeah, plus it's been... A lot of stuff has happened around it, mm-hmm. not with... Them. Yeah, they've... Yeah. So. But, but yeah, it was a pretty good show. Yeah, yeah, not 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 too much to complain about, with it, which is always a positive thing when we're talking about SmackDown. Yeah, because, that's true. Um, yeah, and you had a lot of people on the show that haven't been on there in a couple of weeks, like... Ty and Corbin. Bludgeon yeah, Brothers. Well, uh, yeah. Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder, yeah. yeah. He hasn't been on since he oh, lost to Mojo. Did Did you hear there was some rumor going around that uh, Mojo wasn't the one supposed to be facing Rude at the Rumble? It was supposed to be Adam Cole. But they didn't want to... They figured that wasn't a good showing for Adam Cole because obviously he, he was, was going to take lose. the... Yeah, so they threw that him in the Rumble instead. That and he was, like, destroyed. Yeah, that's, that's why they put him in the Rumble instead of Mojo. That's weird. Yeah. I don't that's know weird. the truth about it, but, yeah, that's very strange. It, it kind of makes sense, but I don't understand why they would put him through that match no. on Saturday. Could have just put then, Dolph in there. That's true. That would have made more <laughs> sense than having Dolph come out. And yeah, because we still no, got... Nothing Nothing, nope. nothing came of that. Nope. I don't know if they're still working on uh, something. Who knows? Yeah. Like, whatever. Yeah. But yes, that was our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.